Hi guys, so today I have um, five or six hacks that I've um, came across like over the years and um, I haven't done a hack in maybe like a month or two so I figure it's time to do a hack. So I'm just gonna get right into it and let you guys know what I have for you guys. Alright guys, so my first hack is an anti-aging um, moisturizer. If you go to CVS or a drugstore or a, you know, a department store and buy a moisturizer and you come home and you put it on and you get a pimple the next day, instead of returning that moisturizer back, um, what I do, I keep it and I put it in on my hands. Um, because our hands give away our age quickly. So because it's an anti-aging, um, it should repair your hands also. And you don't have to put it on your face. Now, if you're allergic to the anti-aging, that's different. But like if you get a rash, that's different. But if you get a pimple here and there, that means that maybe the moisturizer was a little too thick for your face. So instead of just taking it back, keep it and put it on your hands. Alright guys, so my number two is how I clean my brushes. I usually clean my makeup brushes with the antibacteria. So I buy a big one and um, sometimes the big one comes, the little one comes with the big one um, together. Like I bought this at Costco so they came together. So water, half soup. When I'm halfway done like this, I put some water in it and refill it with water because the, the bacteria is still in there or the antibacteria so it's, in, it's still in there and then when I start putting some of this in here I start filling it, filling it up with water so as you can see it's really liquidy usually it's really thick but I find that you know I don't have to go get more of this um, for maybe four or five months because I keep refilling it with water and it still has soap in there. So that's how I clean my brushes and don't have to keep um, wasting soap. Okay guys, so my third hack is, um, is for the beach um, or a pool for the summertime or if you're going on vacation. Um, there's two things I do. Um, before I go to the beach, in the morning time, Take a shower or even just wet, go in the shower, wet your hair, let your pores from your hair open up, put conditioner in it and leave the conditioner in it so when you jump in the pool or go into the ocean that the chlorine with the pool, the chlorine will just seep in your hair and if you have blonde hair it will turn, the chlorine turns your hair like a silhouette of green. Um, and if you have the darker hair, it, your hair gets so knotty. I mean, everyone's hair gets knotty, but it gets really knotty. So if you, oh, if you take a shower and wet your hair, put conditioner, leave that conditioner in your hair so it can work as a barrier. So when you jump in that pool or you jump in the beach, your pores are not just like opening and all that stuff is seeping into your pores. Okay. Now, after you do that, when you get out the pool or the um, the ocean, okay, have a little bottle that sprays that has conditioner and has a little bit of water. And then you spray in your hair before you comb your hair. This is works wonders for everyone, but especially for kids when they come out of the pool or the ocean and their hair is extremely knotty. Like you're, you know, you're combing their hair and they're screaming blurry murder. Is that how you say it? Okay, so you put this conditioner before you comb their, their hair and uh, you will have a happy kid or you will have a happy head if you're doing it for yourself. So yeah, so make sure you have this and a wide tooth comb in your bag and make sure you have it. Um, it's like a toothbrush. Make sure you have toothbrush and toothpaste. Make sure you have this because it really will save, you know, some tears. All right, guys. So my next hack is um, this I've been cleaning my brush. I, Sigma has a bigger one and I love it. I really do. They sent me this one free and I use it and I don't have any issues with it. Now I was thinking of buying a big one, but you know, they get a little pricey um, to clean your makeup brushes. So I was at Target and I was walking around like the kitchen area, the kitchen area. And this is a mitten that you use for the stove. Um, what is it called? 
this is um, silicone pot holder with magnet so this is typically for the stove like when you're getting something out of your stove but it has the same little ridges is that caught like these little guys okay so it does the same exact work it cleans your brushes when you're in the sink you put that you know your antibacterial soap and you do this and that and it cleans your brush I've tried it many a time I've been using it it's so easy and it was way cheaper that well I got this one free but when I went to buy the bigger one it was expensive and then I went to Target and I was just walking around and I found this one and off my head I cannot think of the price and I don't have it on here but I would definitely put it um, on my pop-ups okay guys okay guys so my next one is when you go in the shower I know that they have like girls you know how you put your towel over and it's like really bulky and it's like oh my god this thing keeps falling off but I don't want to wet my hair you know what I'm talking about so and they do have one I don't have it I had it I can't find it they do have a cotton one that is very light at CVS and you can put it on and it's not as bulky but if you don't want to go buy something else if you have a big, big t-shirt, maybe a husband's t-shirt, a boyfriend's t-shirt, go buy yourself a t-shirt from like Walmart that is like maybe $2.99 and use a t-shirt. What you do is, voila, it's not as bulky as a towel. All right guys, so my next ones are two and they're my last ones and um, they're for your eyebrows. Okay, so typically when I'm done my eyebrows, like shaping them in, coloring them in, um, I one use a spoolie, and then I also use a wax. Okay, like a wax stick just to keep them in place. They look pretty, you know, sh a little shinier. So if you don't want to go buy the next one, there's there's many then there's a lot of them out there, not just NYX, but if you if I have the NYX one so if you don't want to go buy the NYX wax that's fine what you do is coconut oil you put the coconut oil on your finger you put a little bit on your eyebrows okay then you get a little toothbrush it can be smaller but I this is the only one that you know that was free um, no one uses this one I if I were you I would get a baby one like a kid toothbrush and it will comb your hair and make them look like waxy and nice in in place and the coconut oil will not break out the coconut oil actually works as well as extra virgin olive oil and you guys know how much I like extra virgin olive oil so it's organic and it works wonders for your eyebrows and your face also but we're talking about the eyebrows now so yeah so if you want nice and shiny and polished eyebrows go get you yourself this and get yourself a toothbrush that nobody has used get a small one I, this is this is a spare one that we had and this is what I'm using so if you guys like my hats let me know give me some comments thumbs it up and please subscribe if you're not a subscriber please how much do I have to beg <laughs> please subscribe guys and thank you so much for watching love you guys So today I'm doing, um, I have like maybe like five hacks. I didn't even count them. I just put them on top of my, tuck that little baby in. Voila, is not as bulky as a tile. Top, top, towel? <laughs> I just would appreciate them. <laughs> what? I just would appreciate them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi guys, so today I am doing some, um, hi guys, so today I'm doing, uh, la 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 la.
Hi guys. So today I'm doing hacks. I have like five or six um, Yeah, babe. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to put my trash cans in the garage, okay? Okay. 